So in Shadowlands, the ancient teachings of the, of the monastery, legendary, allows you to fist weave, so to speak, for 250% of the damage done by a Rising Sun Kick, Tiger's Palm, and Blackout Kick. Now in Dragonflight, the waiting, I guess, of how fist weaving, specifically ancient teachings, heals, is changing. So the base coefficient is going from 250% to 125%, so half. Uh, which means for your, if you're trying to fist weave people with uh, ancient teachings of the monastery in beta or dragonflight, and you're hitting a single target, you're not healing much at all. Uh, it's almost always better if you really need to heal someone. It's always better to press something else. Now that isn't the case in Shadowlands, but in, in Dragonflight it will be. Uh, however, if you're cleaving multiple targets and you've spec the Feyline Stomp segment of the tree and you've got Concordance and Awakened Feyline, then every time you press Tiger's Palm, if you're on your Feyline Stomp, you hit two targets. And it gives you two stacks of teachings. And then when you blackout kick, you hit nine times. Now, what this means is that if you're fist weaving, so to speak, if you're trying to heal through ancient teachings of the monastery in Shadowlands, and you try and do the same thing in Dragonflight, and you're only hitting a single target like a boss fight or something, you're going to do significantly less healing than you were before. But if you're in a Mythic Plus dungeon and you can cleave three targets, you're going to heal significantly more than you did before. The next question is, is this a good change? Um, I would say for most people, yes. There really aren't that many downsides to this. Uh, and that's for a, well, a couple of reasons. If you're cleaving a trash pack, in a dungeon or mythic plus or something and you're um relying on fist weaving to heal people up then uh the new feyline stomp kind of fist weaving style is very powerful you can top a whole group of people let's say your party just ate some big aoe everyone's on half health you can pretty reliably top them up to full in i don't know a couple of globals it's not very long your throughput is quite high with this but um if you go to a boss and you try and do the same thing, you're going to be in for a bad time and people are probably going to die. Uh, the the offset to this is that the change or the, the added talent to Shi Ji to make it a one minute cooldown if you want to is really strong for this reason. If you get to a boss and you want to fist weave and you need to move health bars, you need to heal people up quickly, Shi Ji becomes a very powerful and usually available cooldown for this. You might be thinking that Feyline Stomp won't be up enough to make this good. Um, now, the cool thing about Feyline is it will be up pretty much all the time. If you really want to, especially with decent amount of haste, uh, in beta at the moment, the template gear only has about 9%. And even with that, you can still quite easily keep up Feyline Stomp 100% on every single pack. And that's because it has a 6% chance Whenever you use any ability when standing in Feyline Stomp, you get this buff. Well, after you press it, and for 30 seconds, whenever you're on your Feyline Stomp, any ability has a 6% chance to reset the cooldown. Doesn't seem like much, but it gets buffed to 12 by one of these talents here, I think. This one. Awaken Feyline 100% more often. And then, the if you really need to, like, there have been some times where I'll hit Feyline Stomp, and then the pack's going to be dead in like five seconds. If you really need to, if you have stuff to hit, allies, enemies, if you fail on stomp and then uh, chi burst, you'll more often than not reset fail on stomp because every hit of chi burst counts as a separate instance to proc, well, a lot of things in the game, but to proc fail on stomp reset. So every ally you heal, every enemy you damage, the problem is here, I only hit myself and uh, the training dummy. But in a party, you'll get like, you know, 10 
when he hits or something. 